Okay, question seven. So here there are two uh, independent parts. Uh, we need to determine the total differential and the increment of these two functions. So this is essentially the same thing as in questions um, five and six, only it kind of goes under a different name. So, but essentially total differential is, is just approximation. Right? So here is the formula um, for the total differential. Right, so the total differential is basically the same thing as the linear approximation, only we moved the value of the function at the given point, you know, from the right hand side to, to the left hand side, but the, the rest is the same. So let, let me do this. So part A first. So here is, um, here are all the ingredients. And so what I need to do. I need to, well, in order to compute the total differential, so basically dz is what is the partial derivative with respect to x times delta x plus the partial derivative with respect to y times delta y. Um, or, okay, they, they use dx instead of delta x, right? So this is the same as dx and this is the same as dy. Okay. So um, partial derivative of z with respect to x is, is what is uh, minus y over x squared. At the given point is uh, x is 2, so minus 1 over 4. Partial derivative of z with respect to y is, is 1 over x. At the given point is 1 half. And so which means that my dz is going to be partial derivative with respect to x minus one fourth times dx so this is dx times zero one plus one half times zero point two right yeah which is really minus zero point what 0 0.25 plus 0 0.1 and this is 0 0.075 all right so th this is dz th this is our um, differential which is a, lin a linear approximation for the change um, of the dependent variable well at the same time if you if you want to compute the exact change delta z it is going to be um, the value at the new point so and the new point is 2.1 so 2 plus 0 0.1 is 2.1 uh, well x is 2.1 so divided by 2.1 and y is 1.2 minus uh, basically one half right so because this is x uh, sorry this is y and this is x well I don't know, just out of curiosity, let me compute this. Um, 1.2, 1 2 divided by 2.1 minus 1 half, 0 0.71. Yeah, and the linear approximation is 0 0.75. So not, not too far off. Okay, um, 7b. Uh, everything is, is exactly the same, right? So only, well, the, the expression is different, but still, um, what we need to do, we need to find partial derivatives of z with respect to x and, and y. Uh, okay, so this is the ratio of two, um, two expressions. So when we differentiate with respect to x, y is, can be thought of as a constant, so we I can take it out. So y times now, I have the ratio of two expressions, so x in the numerator and x squared plus y squared in the denominator. So to differentiate the ratio of two functions, I square the denominator, so x squared plus y squared squared, right? And in the, num in the numerator, I first differentiate the numerator, its derivative is one, times the denominator, so times x squared plus y squared minus, now I, keep the numerator x times the derivative of the denominator which is 2x all right 
So I guess this is going to be still y times uh, x square plus y square. So it's going to be x square plus y square minus 2x square and x square minus 2x square. Essentially, I can just delete this and insert a minus sign here divided by x squared plus y squared squared. All right. Okay, cool. Um, so this is really going to be, wow, um, y is 1, um, x is 2, so minus 2 squared plus 1 is minus 3, I guess. Divided, okay, uh, 2 squared plus 1 squared is, is what is 5. So divided by 25. Okay, so it is minus 3 over 25. Yeah. All right, so ZY. Um, so notice that the given function is symmetric. And X, I mean, if you switch X and Y, then basically you, you get this the same function, right? So, and because of the dissymmetry, to compute uh, the partial derivative with respect to y, we just need to take our expression for x and then just switch x and y. So it's going to be x times uh, x squared minus y squared divided by x squared plus y squared squared, which is really x is 2. Uh, so this is really like 6 over 25, I believe. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> All right, so now the estimate, so the differential is going to be minus 3 over 25 times dx, which is 0 0.01. So plus 6 over 25 times dy. And there is a minus sign here, so let me uh, remove it here. 0. Point, so times. 0. Um, what is it? 0. 0.03. Okay, so I guess we can just compute it. So this is going to be like minus 0. 0.21, I think, divided by 25, which is minus 0. 0.00. I have computed it on a calculator. So that, that's basically. It. Now, what is delta x? So delta, sorry, delta z. So delta z is going to be the value of z um, at the new point. So the new x is the old x plus the increment, right? So it's going to be uh, 2.01 times y is 1 minus 0 0.03, so 0 0.97 divided by 201 squared plus 0.97 squared minus um, my x is 2 um, and y is 1 I guess I get I get 2 fifth well we can just compute it in, in a calculator 0 0.01 times 0.97 divided by 0, 1. Oh, I guess it's not too far off. <laughs> All right, so this is how we compute the differential.